Yields back. The gentleman from Maryland is recognized. Mr. Speaker, hundreds of people have come forward to testify about the violent and dangerous events of January the 6th. It's just a handful of people like Mr. Bannon, like Mr. Meadows, who somehow think that they're above the law. We are not a banana republic because we hold everybody to equality under the law, and we are not communists, as the gentlelady from Georgia suggested. That's just the friends of the former president who you lionize, like the dictator of North Korea who he loves, and Vladimir Putin, who said that the greatest tragedy of the 20th century was the collapse of the Soviet Union. So those are your friends. Don't put them on our side. They're saying that the January 6 committee is out to persecute and bankrupt their opponents. On the contrary, we're out to write a report under House Resolution 503 to the American people about the most violent and sweeping dangerous attack on the republic since the Civil War or the War of 1812. Mr. Bannon's raising money on it. Far from bankrupting Mr. Bannon, he's trying to get rich on it. And Mark Meadows has written a book where he tells all of the stories he wants about January the 6th. It's just he doesn't want to face the rule of law and the questions of this bipartisan committee, which is making tremendous progress in terms of getting the truth of what happened on that day. I recommend to all of my colleagues who invoke the rule of law today that they read the D.C. Circuit Court of Opinion, which obliterates every single argument that they've made about executive privilege. It's basically gone now because the way the law works is the people have a right to get the information we want unless there's a compelling interest on the other side. They haven't even pretended to, have, to invoke a compelling interest. What's the compelling interest in being able to prepare an insurrection, a coup against the government? Is that what we want to establish a precedent for? That outgoing presidents can try to organize an insurrection against the vice president and encourage people who go out and stage a riot against the Vice President of the United States in the Congress? I don't think so. A couple of the speakers said there was an absence of legislative purpose. This is the central purpose of our government, to make the government survive and to go out and serve the people. That's what this committee is doing. He is in contempt, uh, Mr. Speaker. I urge a yes vote on the rule in the previous question. I yield back the balance of my time, and I move the previous question on the resolution.